I first learned about Criswell College. Uh, when I was a very young child, I used to listen to KCBI radio. And I remember um, asking my mother, what is Criswell College? And so I always grew up hearing about it. But uh, my pastor really introduced me to what the college is all about. And um, he, he knew was, I was interested in uh, teaching, potentially teaching. Um, so he encouraged me to, uh, to come and check out the school. So I came to preview day, one preview day. I, um, sat in some classes. Um, I sat in a variety of classes. Um, some pertain to history. Uh, I had Dr. Spencer go in uh, talking about uh, archaeology and he was explaining uh, how different archaeological uh, finds or whatever, um, how that's helped to explain parts of scripture. Uh, that intrigued me a lot. Um, also I got to sit in Dr. Creamer's philosophy class and um, really to learn some different views on um, ancient philosophers and different things. That's really been my love is philosophy and humanities. Um, so I was really intrigued uh, not only by that but the the biblical worldview that they were teaching from. And uh, I had examined some other secular universities and uh, just really wasn't interested in hearing, you know, getting uh, those different views from an atheistic standpoint or, you know, I really wanted to have the biblical foundation that they were teaching from and to be uh, taught in a way that would uh, strengthen my faith rather than um, cause me to be skeptical about it. And so I really, that after that preview day where I visited, I really um, began to consider it and um, felt like the Lord was leading me to, uh, to come to Criswell. Criswell has um, equipped me in a number of different ways. I would say um, for sure uh, in the field that I want to study, uh, which is humanities, um, I really would like to become a teacher of, of, young, of young people, of students, and uh, it's really uh, helped me to examine history um, in light of uh, uh, a w biblical worldview, um, to really examine uh, not only philosophical history but church history and, um, and to uh, study how that has progressed through history and uh, how to answer those questions, those philosophical questions and uh, historical uh, dilemmas and different things. Um, that I might encounter on the teaching field. So I would say um, it's equipped me in that, in that um, facet, but also uh, biblically. I feel like I, I grew up in a Christian home. I studied the Bible all of my life, but it was here that I really uh, was brought through the Scripture through Old Testament survey, New Testament survey, different intensive classes on the New Testament or Old Testament. And uh, the professors really showed me a different way to study the Word of God and um, not only to just read it but to study who wrote it and um, who were they writing to, uh, what was the context they were writing in. Um, different things like that just really enhanced my uh, knowledge of Scripture and, and also whetted my appetite in a sense because it's given me the tools to study Scripture for myself that way. And um, I took one uh, class on biblical exposition with Dr. Allen Street and um, he really he gives you the tools of just how to uh, study Scripture, how to go to lexicons, how to go to uh, biblical maps, uh, study biblical history. Um, different things just as you're expositing the Word of God. Not that I'm going to be a pastor or a preacher, but I might be teaching it in some way, you know, and just for my own benefit as well. So I think it's equipped me um, scripturally, biblically, that way. But um, also, uh, I'm a senior, and we're going through this uh, senior seminar class, and the professor takes us through different questions that he asks us. Um, like the atheist challenges that atheists might have toward Christianity or or just different things like that um, and we go through those questions and we answer them we look at uh, both sides of the argument and we uh, we really examine uh, the, all the answers and it helps us it's really helped me because in the workplace um, I, I encounter people like that every day every week and um, it's given me answers to give them encouragement to give them and just strengthen my own faith in a sense. Uh, the student body is very diverse I will say. Um, we have people from all different countries, we have people from all different walks of life, you have people uh, like me that were raised in a Christian home, um, always went to church and then people who were saved 
out of gangs, out of um, you know drug abuse, different things like that. So you really get a, a, a diversity of, of different uh, life stories, and uh, but we all really have one thing in common, and that's that we love the Lord and we want to learn how to to read his word and to teach other people and spread the gospel. And I think that's one thing that just really ties everybody together. Um, although we do have different views, there's, there's, uh, the coffee shop is a great place to go because you hear people debating on their different views and um, it's, a, it's a neat place to, to learn about other people and how they, uh, how they view things. But also, um, we do, uh, I'm on the student life team and uh, we organize different student events and we, uh, we encourage students to uh, build community and um, we have different events. The guys get together a couple of days a week, play basketball, football. You really see a lot of bonding there when they do that. Um, we, uh, I organize ladies events. Sometimes we'll go have an outing and, and do something fun. Um, and we also have just um, group get-togethers where we do we have parties we have uh, just to encourage that friendship among the students and it's really student-led for the most part because uh, it's a small school so we don't have a lot of you know big campus on-campus activities but uh, you really see a, a unity among a lot of the students and I think that's a, a neat thing I've made some of my best friends here and um, I would definitely say that's been an encouragement to me through my my years here. Uh, well, the Lord has really been good to me for uh, as far as uh, financially because I am just working uh, on my own trying to uh, raise the money to, to go to school and uh, really uh, Criswell has, they provide great financial aid. Um, I, was, I was able to apply every semester for financial aid. Um, I always received something um, and they really I think take into consideration the hours that you're that you're working you know what you're making and they really we have a great base of, uh, of donors people who give to the school I've worked as, as a student ambassador um, earned scholarships that way but also through that I've gotten to know some of the people who who donate to the school and those people just they're so sweet and they really just have a heart to uh, to give to the students and I think it's incredible and you can also based on your GPA they give scholarships um, which I've been fortunate to to receive and um, I just every semester I, I wonder sometimes how I'm gonna pay for it um, and I, I see see the payments coming up and I'm like I, Lord I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this but he always comes through every semester there has been someone who gives the school has um, helped me out in some way and it's he's made it possible and that's one reason I know that I'm supposed to be here because he's always he's always provided and so that's incredible to me if I had to say something about Criswell that's just really uh, impacted my life um, I would say that it has given me an appreciation for scholarship and for it's opened a lot of things in my mind and now I feel like I've laid the groundwork as a graduating student I feel like I have uh, been taught in different fields of my life in theology and philosophy and culture and history um, and the, all those different fields I feel like I've been given the tools I've been equipped in the way that I can and now I can kind of um, open-mindedly view uh, my future and I can see that no matter what capacity the Lord puts me in to serve that I've been equipped and I've been given the tools to to do that whether it's teaching whether it's on the mission field whether it's urban ministry here in the states um, whatever the Lord calls me to do I feel like that he's given me um, given me the tools to do it and Criswell College and my professors here have helped make that possible